Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So in the Zen store, the key section, you can pick up this bundle with 20 enchanted keys. And even with that, you're getting the enchanted keys at a discount since their base value is actually 125 Zen per key. And in my opinion, it's not worth ever buying keys. Even if you get a coupon that's like 40% off, you're way better getting VIP, logging in every day, and you'll get a free enchanted key. And then you'll spend those on your lockboxes. And would I buy this bundle with these mythic resurgent lockboxes? Now one thing to note is what's actually within them. We can see the tooltip here of the Magnificent Resurgent Lockbox. However, we can see that all it's going to obtain is a Magnificently Mythic Pack at its top tier reward. And what does that have? Well, we can look on the auction house and you can see those packs. But again, unfortunately, you cannot see what's going to be available within it. So here I am to tell you that these Magnificent Resurgent Lockboxes will include the following. Here's again the tooltip, but with these rewards within the Magnificently Mythic pack. It's actually a legendary pack, but you can see it obtains most of the Mythic account-wide mounts along with the four Mythic account-wide companions. Yes, they're going to be indeed account-wide. Unfortunately, however, the value on these golden companions has really gone down. Now, their price listed on the auction house is still pretty neat and you could probably make some profit. Looking at different tests, people have done with regards to the drop rates of this thing. Yeah, it's still very low like other lockboxes, about a 0.4% chance it will drop. So you'll need to open like up to 200 to have a significant chance to open. And you're only getting 20 here. My opinion, completely not worth it at all, especially with the relative nerf to these golden companions. Essentially, these golden companions, when you use them as summoned, as an augment, they give you a boost to one stat. And with the change with module 22, we now have this new companion enhancement, which gives a much bigger boost for augments, which is great for the common augment that has three stats. But as soon as you go and run one of these golden companions, your stats skyrocket. They go way over your cap and you can see we've wasted over 5,000 stats there and that's terrible. That's why we are running with triple stat augments than just single stat augments because right now these have been pretty much nerfed. We run with the golden cat and we're over 16,000 ratings which is insane loss. And the reason behind this huge stat increase is because they only give one stat, like the Golden Cat giving combat advantage, this companion enhancement essentially gives three times the amount they would originally give to make up for other augments giving three different stats. And then you would gain the 7,500 to each of those stats plus the base. So you're actually getting 9,750 ratings from each of these stats. Accuracy, combat event, critical severity if we're using the Owlbear Cub. And if we're using a Golden Bullet or a Golden Cat, we'll end up with three times that. So that's nearly 30,000 to one of our stats with Golden Cat. It's combat advantage. And thus we're ending up with way over the amount we need. Of course, you can try make a build to work around these. But no matter what you do, you're generally just going to be wasting stats. The Golden Deep Crow for like a tank. And I'm on a DPS. I'm going near nearly over 5,000 of this rating. So these golden companions essentially have taken a pretty heavy nerf with module 22. However, they still have their uses. For example, the golden bullet is still gonna have this really good equip power of 7.5% outgoing healing with reinvigorate. You can get reinvigorate from some other companions now as well. So that's also made the golden bullet a little bit less valuable. And your golden cat does have its offensive power of golden cat's instincts of 7.5% combat advantage, but you could use some Thing like the Staldorf instead of that just here but I'm on a bard where combat advantage is pretty hard to come by so I end up actually using both of them and then the deep crow you can see running with the 7.5 awareness not really needed for a tank but it can be useful same with honed instincts but again as a tank you want to run with a companion enhancement that's just going to cause your allies to deal more damage like 
armor break dulled senses vulnerability those are pretty good and then there is also the golden goat which for some reason is pretty rare here but generally it's one of the ones people don't want to pick up because it gives forte and forte is not great because well it does give percentage stats but you are wasting it since you're dumping something into a third stat that you don't really need like on a bard i don't really need deflect severity and unless I'm making some weird hybrid builds. But normally if I'm going for DPS, I'm trying to max out all my offensive stats. So overall, this Magnificent pack has taken a nerf with regards to the Golden Companions also effectively being nerfed in this Module 22 due to other augments with three stats becoming a lot more viable. And these Golden Companions just ending up giving far more stats than is necessary. In my opinion, what should happen with augments is this rating should be changed to percentage stats and thus we could balance a whole lot more with certain gears. But again, there might be other reasons why you would want to keep it as ratings, but it could make the balance a lot more better. I could run a golden cat then giving me 30% of combat advantage and I'm sure I could fit that in my build. Just running with a golden cat right now instead of the owl there, you can see my combat advantage is still only at 74% from 71% to 74% because I already get more than enough combat advantage from the Owlbear. And yeah, it's just a bit ridiculous the way they've set it up now and Golden Companions have just effectively been heavily nerfed to use as summoned. Nobody uses them as summoned anymore. You can maybe fit a Golden Bullet in a healer build, but you're still going to struggle to not waste stats. So with that said, I would not gamble on these boxes to try and get like the top tier reward. Mostly you're just going to get some pretty terrible stuff like jadeites some maybe trade bars which is decent but generally don't buy keys save vip keys and you'll get more than enough trade bars through that or just save astro diamonds and wait for the astro lockbox event and then you're just gonna get some random bunch of insignias good luck getting a legendary one and those mount and companion packs do have some decent companions we can see the magnificent resurgent companion pack there with all of those different options you do have your owlbear cub within it so keep that in mind if you want to buy an owlbear cub don't get ripped off by somebody who's selling it for like over 2 million you can see here price has gone down a bit but still make sure you do your research where these companions can come from before just buying them because there could be a pack like this where it's going to be much cheaper to buy the pack then yes to just buy the companion again there's even a stalwart lion there if you wanted to get that but overall i would not spend the zen to buy this it is a complete gamble whether you will get your money back or not. And I just go on the safe side and uh, hold off. Spend your Zen somewhere else. Something on like coalescent moats can be useful at this point. However, we've had so many discounts on these coalescent moats that their prices have already gone down to just over 1 million, which is still expensive. These things used to be only valued at 750k astral diamonds. And otherwise, you can always save your Zen. It's in pretty short supply. And they'll come out with some fancy sale some new thing that people will want and you can always buy that and sell it for like five times the amount that you would originally get through the exchange so with that said hopefully this has been somewhat insightful to you guys as whether or not to buy this magnificent pack and my insights on the effective nerfs to those golden companions so overall if i present this well consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now